She's alive. The trauma motor. I was nervous there for a second. So I recently just broke the, the steering housing on the trolling motor and I uh, had to replace it yesterday. So I got nervous because we're going to head over to Clear Lake. I wasn't sure if we can get it fixed in time, but sure did. It wouldn't turn at all, but now it's working like brand new. So excited about that. But it feels great to be out here on the water. Been a little while. Lake Mead's absolutely drying up. Most of the boat launches won't even let you launch anymore. They're all closing down, either you know extended or permanently closed because they just can't you can't put a boat in at them anymore but um today we're going after crappie looks like the crappie have been absolutely on fire we came out once earlier this year now they're spawning and uh been hearing they're up shallow so that's what we're gonna do today see if we can't get lucky or see if we can get lucky catch us some slabs this lake's got some absolute monsters and because the water stays fairly cold out here they're usually really good eating too so it'll be exciting first look up <laughs> i was like i got something big Get the, get the net. It bit it at the surface, huh? Yeah. Not a way. Pliers. Surgery on this guy. He bit it like right next to the boat, huh? On the surface. Yeah. You're free, sir. Don't bite nobody else's net rig. Did he put up a good fight at least? Yeah, he bit it right on the surface. I wasn't paying attention and uh, I was reeling it in. It was going across the surface and there was a big splash and I was thinking, dang, a bass or something hit it on top water. And then he came up after fighting for about 10 seconds. I thought I had a monster. So, uh, we're actually headed out to Clear Lake in a few days and it came down to the decision, do we want to go out and catch bass on beds or do we want to kind of target crappie today, which is two completely different lakes. We picked crappie just cause, you know, Clear Lake there's crappie too, but we're gonna be bass fishing a lot out there. And uh, we're ready. The weather's amazing, what do you think? Yeah, feels great out here. It's starting to get hot. I think it's gonna reach 90s. Yeah, 90s today. That's good, we're ready. Water temp 62.2. That's perfect. And uh, beautiful. Bass are getting ready to spawn. It's gonna be a good time. As we're fishing for crappie, we let this thing just troll in. Little guy. Bye. Got him. Oh, he was stuck on my little hair. Look at that. Barely got him. Nice fish. Nice little four pounder. <laughs> <laughs> he lives to swim another day. That's true. We did catch about five bass, huh? We caught about five bass messing around, trolling and, you know, dropping on stuff. We saw them on the panoptics. We dropped on a couple things that we thought were crappie and they ended up being small bass. So as far as we can see, the bass are not on beds yet. Still a tad bit too cold, I say in about the next two weeks. We're gonna see beds all over Lake Mead. There's a crappie. <laughs> These Lake Mead ones are actually pretty big crappie. This one, uh, I think we've caught bigger before, but they're still really nice. They're great eating too, so this guy's gonna end up amazing. For anybody who likes Slim Jims, the, the Savage model right here that's like three times the size of a regular one, do not recommend it. <laughs> it's almost too much. It seems like the, the thin Slim Jims are better, huh? It's still good. I mean, it's still Slim Jim, but the thin ones are like, they, they just are better. This one's like too overwhelming with the flavor. Look at this guy. It's a nice size crappie. Make a good sandwich or two. Probably like two sandwiches, three. Yeah, so the last few months has been absolutely busy for us. Just a lot going on. Like I said, I turned 21. So, you know, obviously when you turn 21, I'm sure everybody that's watching when they turn 21, they did the exact same thing. You go out and party for a little bit, you know, a couple weekends in a row. 
and um, had some family members pass, unfortunately. We got a big family. You know, some people start getting a little bit older and they pass away. So we've been dealing with that, turning 21, stuff breaking on us. And when you when you accumulate all of that back to back to back to back, kind of drains you a little bit. We're getting it. Also in February, February is kind of a bad month anyways, cause hunting season, everything's going downhill for hunting. Um, everything starts closing and then you're starting to get ready for fishing season. And then you go out a couple times and you get skunked because like February absolutely sucks here in Nevada. Well, that's all today wrote for the fishing part. So I'm gonna get home, get freshened up, cleaned up. It was hot today, broke a nice little sweat, got a little tan going on and uh, cook that crappie up. Crappie, these crappie at Lake Mead are amazing. It's a little bit colder water. I think that's the reason, but every time I get crappie at a Lake Mead here, they're usually really, really good. I gotta go all the way up this hill. Awesome day on the water. Just finally starting to get hot out here. Probably in the 80s right now, pushing 90s. Feels good though. We're cold for a little while. I don't know if I'm ready for it to get to be 115 degrees yet, but I don't think you're ever ready. Feels good to be 21, huh? So, what we caught, just this one crappie. We are out there just to kind of enjoy the weather, enjoy our time out there. And uh, the, a fish was a bonus. It was just out there to catch some fresh air after, you know, a busy month or two of doing other stuff. So, we're gonna clean this guy up, make some food out of him, and uh, enjoy him, to be honest. These cold water crappie like this are some of the best eating fish. I, I know I said about a lot of the fish, but um, it's just true. Crappie's good, <laughs> striper's good, tilapia's good. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't find them, you end up catching like They're there. And there's the fillets. You can see that it's a very white meat fish. Looks amazing though. So I never actually like memorized, you know, from years of making videos, how I've cooked fish more times than other times. But the way I'm gonna cook this right now, extremely easy. This is the way that I cook fish a majority of the time. If I'm gonna cook fish for like, if I got family coming over or friends or something, this is the way I show them to cook it other than frying. That's usually just really good, extremely easy to make. You can't mess it up and uh, it turns out amazing. I'm gonna put it into a sandwich this time. Just cause with crappie, I like putting it in a sandwich cone or a crappie sandwich. So all I'll be using right now, garlic salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, and of course butter. You can always use like olive oil or any kind of oil you want, but butter's good. So when I season fish, the general rule of thumb that I go for is anything with salt, just lay light on it at first because you can always add more later. You don't want your fish to be too salty. I'm gonna give the fish just a real nice sprinkle, pepper. Boom. Now look at that. And this is why I say it's so easy to do, so delicious. Literally anybody can do it. It probably took three minutes to cook it. Golden brown, and literally if you eat it like this, it's just absolutely amazing. This, by far, one of the best ways to cook fish on the planet. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make a sandwich out of it. Make it maybe just a little bit better. So first thing we're gonna do, we got our bread right here. I'm gonna try this out, I've never tried it, but I'm gonna see how that turns out. We'll do one at a time, because I don't wanna get it in the major grease. Yep, exactly what we're looking for. Now, mayonnaise. We're almost out, but we're gonna make it work. 
Well, we're pretty much out of mayonnaise, so this is gonna have to work right here. Cut. Almost feels like a sin to cut them, huh? And lay. And lay. And that's literally it. Just mayonnaise, two bomb sandwiches right here. They're gonna be amazing. There's a sandwich. Fancy cut. Usually I'd add a little more mayonnaise, but that'll have to do for now. It's really good. Really good. It's kind of dry. <laughs> no, it's not no. that dry, actually. It's actually really good. It was good? That's awesome. So, the thumbs up. Butter bread's even better. Thumbs up. Butter bread and everything? Thumbs up. It's really good. For sure. Definitely. For sure. All right. Seniors here for the taste. <laughs> so, this is a crappy. Yep. It's soft, honey. You cut a little bite off. There wasn't that much mayonnaise, so you might not have got a bite with mayonnaise, but. <laughs> wow. I watch those food shows and. When those guys bite into something that they like, they always roll their eyes behind their head like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was delicious. That's good? Good as always. Awesome. Look at that. Crappie sandwich. Let me see how it turns out. Juju wasn't lying. That fish is extremely soft. Absolutely amazing. That was my first time trying to kind of toast the bread a little bit, like in that butter that's left over after you're cooking the fish. And it's really good. You can, <laughs> the bread tastes way better than regular bread. A little bit more mayonnaise would do this thing just absolutely perfect. But this right here for me is a 10 out of 10. Like I said, that right there, fish took probably three minutes to cook. Extremely easy, extremely simple. Whenever I get family or friends that come over and they come fishing with me in town or anything, they're always like, oh, how do you cook it? Whatever. I always just show them that way. Extremely easy. Like I said, anybody can do it. And uh, always send them home with a new recipe other than frying. Frying's always good, but this is just a little bit different. Hits a different taste bud in your mouth. And it's just absolutely perfect. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we did just a short one just to kind of update you guys on what we're doing. What we've been doing. Like I said, I turned 21. Um, we've just had a, a, a lot going on with our family in general over the last few months and uh, just been busy but we're gonna go back at it we're taking a vacation one week to Clear Lake California same trip we did last year our goal is an eight pounder this year we're gonna be filming that whole thing so I hope you guys are there to watch it thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors <laughs>